time to hang out with my sister girl. Hey, sister girl on films. Hey, sister girl on films. Hey. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, sister girl on films. And y'all, I was not planning to record anything today. I'm not even kidding. Like today, I'm supposed to be editing um, Friday Night Friday. I have a retro rewatch to edit. All the things. So I wasn't planning on coming on camera at all. However, I don't know how it came across my eyes, but I saw a clip from the show that I am about to recap today. And I said, is this show out already? And I noticed that I missed episode one. And that show is House of Villains, y'all. I have not been this excited about a reality show in a long time, probably since the mold that I reviewed last thing, either the beginning of this year or last year. And I was like, okay, this is going to be added to the schedule on the channel for the next few weeks because baby, I am, I just, I can't even tell y'all. Okay. So let's get into it. So house of villains is the latest reality game show that brings 10 of the most notorious reality TV show villains to one house where they compete to win a grand prize of $200,000, honey. Oh my God. So look, it's bringing together some of the most notorious bad guys of some of the most popular reality TV shows from the last decade or so at this point. Let's go ahead and get an episode one, y'all. Oh, I can't wait to talk about this show. We get the house, beautiful house. It definitely is giving... 90s early 2000s reality tv we all live in one big old house i'm here for it okay so first comes in johnny fairplay i consider myself the greatest villain in the history of reality television now i haven't watched survivor i don't even know if survivor still come on child but i only watched maybe like the first season of survivor and i know there's tons of seasons and so johnny fairplay is from one of the seasons of survivor and apparently while he was on the show he lied about his grandma dying i don't know if it was to win sympathy or to get to go home or to get extra pudding on his lunch tray i don't know why but apparently that made him a villain and so that's johnny fairplay i don't know nothing about that man y'all can tell me about him in the comments but apparently he's a bad guy <laughs> and so then next black car pulls up and then the woman walks out. I see the back of the head and I'm like, it's my girl, New York. Let the games mother begin! And yes, honey, Tiffany Pollard, AKA New York, steps on the scene and she is excited to come in. Uh, she has absolutely no idea who Johnny Fairplay is, um, but he knew who she was, honey. Of course, honey, she's the HBIC. So New York is in the motherfucking house. <laughs> And then so next comes Johnny Bananas. Die a hero or live long enough to become a villain. Now, if you're not familiar with Johnny Bananas, I don't know where you've been because he's been on the challenge on MTV for I don't know how damn long. Like apparently tw 21 seasons. I didn't even know the challenge had been on that long. But Johnny Bananas is on the show. And if you know anything about Johnny Bananas, honey, he will stab you in the back. He will lie. He will steal. He will kill. He. I don't know if Johnny's killed anybody, but don't put it past him, okay? He will do everything he can to win. So I was excited to see Johnny Bananas because when I used to watch the challenge, I ain't watched it in forever, but when I used to watch it, I hated his ass. He deserved to be on the show, okay? Villain. Um, <laughs> and so next, Comes in this girl, Corinne. You, you're a disrespectful piece of shit. I don't watch The Bachelor. I don't. I just, I, I never have. I never will. No, thank you. Not interested. Although I heard the last season had a sister and she picked a brother. So maybe I might tune in and catch the old episodes of this one. But the rest of them, mm, no, thank you. Uh, but Corinne apparently is from The Bachelor. And she's a villain because she kissed the bachelor. Like the, she was like the first girl to kiss the bachelor. I'm thinking my like, girl, you're not telling the whole story because there's no way you're a villain because you kissed the man on a dating show. Like that's the whole point. But I'm sure we'll find out why as the season progresses, why this bitch is really a villain. But baby, you're not telling the whole story. I don't trust you, okay? 
And then Bobby Lights comes in. I am a villain, but I'm a fun villain. And boom, look to step in the room, pick out. He like kicked the door. <laughs> Bobby Lights is something else. Now, Bobby Lights is from Love and Hip Hop Miami, if you're not familiar with him. I don't watch Love and Hip Hop. Um, I think I've seen a couple episodes with Bobby Lights on it. I do know he's Trina's cousin. And I know that he likes to get a little rah, 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 you know, with the girls. And I will say, uh, I love his hair color. I don't know what, who, who did it for him, but it looks beautiful. It was popping. Purple's my favorite color. Um, so, yeah, so Bobby Lights is in the house. I don't think Bobby Lights is going to give that Bobby Lights activity that at least I think that he normally does on Love and Hip Hop because he's not in that type of crowd. And I feel like his personality might be a little bit more mute in this show because he got some big personalities to contend with so I'm interested to see how he'll be we'll get into it but in this episode I thought it was okay like I didn't have an issue with him I know why he's known as a villain but he was kind of given just let me play my part and let me get in good with with the real leaders in the house okay y'all <laughs> ciao love is blind favorite villain shake is in the house if you're gonna give me the title give me the crown too now listen i feel like it is a unanimous decision that of all the contestants on love is blind well up until the most recent season because i didn't watch this past season no thank you but apparently uche was a terror and lydia so maybe shake has gone down on that list but up until this point Shake was everybody's number one villain. Now, Shayna is my least favorite. I can't stand her ass. But Shake <laughs> was up there, honey. So Shake is here. And when he walked in, New York was like, oh, no, not you. She was like, he is like the male version of me, but worse. He is evil. <laughs> I said, you know you are bad if New York is calling you worse than her and evil. Child. But Shake was pretty calm in this episode. We're going to talk about it. But Shake... He wasn't shaking the table, okay? Not a good thing. Okay? Now this back bitch to is one. shaking the table. <laughs> now next came in our girl Tanisha from Bad Girls Club. They say they don't f with me, but I say they can't f with T. And I could tell that she's probably just on this show to get a cute little check. She's not on here to play a character. She's not on here to try to be a bad girl. She's not on here to revive her career. None of the thing. One of the Johnnies was like, Oh yeah, you're from Bad Girls Club. And she looked she looked uncomfortable. She's like, Yeah, that was a long time ago. So I feel like she's trying to distance herself from that franchise and that, you know, kind of bad girl characterization of her. But Tanisha, girl, you are the queen of Bad Girls Club. So girl, wear wear that as a badge of honor that he was like for Bad Girls Club because I mean, let's be serious. She she put Bad Girls Club on the map. So next came in Jax from Vanderpump Rules. Who knew being bad was, was gonna pay off? Now I knew who he was. I think he's really handsome. So I, his face was familiar and I knew what show he was from. But do I know anything about Jax? No. I never watched Vanderpump Rules. My bestie watches it, we used to watch it. I don't know. So because of her, I know that Jax, I think is a cheater. And then they confirmed it on the show, but that was like his thing. It's like he was a piece of shit. Um, but <laughs> Jax, when he came in, he was like, I know people look at me as a bad guy and that is in my past. You know, I'm not here to be a villain. I'm not here to live up to my reputation. I want to win this money for my family. And that's it. So Jax is really trying to distance himself from this bad guy image that he got from Vanderpump Rules. Um, I don't know how long that's going to last in this house, because if you want to win, you're going to have to let that inner villain out. I can't help but feel so disappointed. <laughs> and then the next person on our cast, Anfisa from 90 Day Fiance. I guess I'll have to learn to be fake in this house and I'm going to have to be like, wow, you're so cool. Um, I definitely don't know anything about her, don't know anything about the show, but later she talks about how she was viewed as a gold digger when she was on the show. So I guess that's why she's a villain. Um, I'm sure we'll, again, find out more about her and why she is the way she is. But it's definitely given I'm going to use my body and my looks to get ahead in this show, um, especially with the guys, especially with Johnny Bananas. Because um, obviously Bobby Lights ain't falling for that. 
Jax is married. You know, he was allegedly a cheater. He said he's done with that, that part of his life. He don't want to be a player no more, okay? Um, and then Johnny Fairplay, he's just old as hell. So I guess she's going to try to manipulate Johnny Bananas. We'll find out. As the first nine people get to the mansion, they're kind of talking and kind of get to know each other. The people who don't really know each other or learning about each other, they're picking out their rooms. And Bobby likes it's like, where's the 10th the person at? And so driving up the walk, honey, comes in Amorosa. I don't stab in the back, stab in the front. Now, Bobby kept saying, ooh, Am Amorosa. I said, baby, please don't call her Amorosa. Don't call that lady Amorosa when you see her, because she's going to tear your ass up. <laughs> and so when she gets in the house, she walks in. It's like, hello. Everybody's, like, kind of afraid to approach her. They're like, oh, my God, Amorosa, no. Oh, my God, like, bigging it up, okay? Bigging it up. So she comes in. She's like, where is everybody at? She don't go to find nobody, honey. She goes and sits in the living room. And here they come just flocking. I, I hate it. I hate it how everybody ran to Amorosa. Because she already came in with the big head. She already came in feeling like she's that chick. And then everybody kind of just falling all over her, but really just kind of gave validation to that. And I could not stand it, honey. So Shake was the first one to run up to her. And he's like, hey, Amorosa. She said, uh-uh, it's Amorosa. And I said, see? <laughs> Listen to that Bobby, got you messed up. He's like, oh, I'm so Amorosa. I'm a, what's it? Oh, Amorosa. I wasn't mad at it though. I can't stand when people mispronounce my government name, so I will correct it, okay? Say the name my mama gave me. Don't be making up nothing. Don't be adding no extra to it. Don't take nothing away. My name is this and that's what it is. So I wasn't mad at that. And so everybody's coming and oh my God, I'm Rose, oh my God, all this other shit falling all over her. So Corinne, bubbly blonde, and I feel like that's what she's trying to use to kind of get over and, and come off as unassuming. And so she goes up to Amorosa. She's like, oh my God, I'm Corinne. What's your name? And Amorosa said, Google, use it. <laughs> hey, what's nice your to name? Meet you. Um, Google. It'll help you. Oh. <laughs> Why would she say that? Like, <laughs> I'm a Rosa. Really, Google? You you just couldn't say your name. You just couldn't say your name. And so Karen was like, "What? Excuse me?" And I'm Rosa was like, "Turn to shake." So what were we talking about? Girl, no, you didn't do that girl like that. And so Corinne was like, um, hello, ma'am. Situation, do you um, know? Excuse me, ma'am, are you like? Hi, I'm having a conversation. Girl, you really pushing it. You are really pushing it. So Amorosa is treating this girl like she is invisible, honey, paying her dust. And so Corinne walks away. She goes to get a drink. So, oh my God, that is just so rude. That is what I call trying too effing hard, bitch. Calls Omarosa a bitch. I call that, I call that trying way too f***ing hard. Oh, so have a great f***ing day, bitch. Girl. <laughs> Omarosa just looked at her and was like, anyway. And so Corinne goes upstairs crying. I'm like, girl. You just got here and you crying already. Y'all be weak in the knees. Stand up. Stand up. Okay. That's probably why the girls on The Bachelor didn't like your ass because you are dramatic, doing the most, trying to give main character energy, and child, you're barely an NPC. Ooh, okay. So Amorosa comes in like just getting straight to business. She's talking to Shake. She already knows Johnny Fairplay. She's like, y'all, we need to form an alliance. Like we need to get together. And she's asked Shake, are you good to join an alliance with us? Talking about her and Johnny Fairplay. And Shake is like, whoa, well, I don't, I don't really know. I just, I just got here. I'm gonna need a little time to think about it. And Amorosa's like, we don't have time. We need to get to it and get our game plan together. So already Amorosa is, is on it, okay? One to watch. I feel like she might win the show. And so, y'all remember how I said when Amorosa came in, everybody was like flocking to her, like bending the knee, wanting to meet her, except for two people, honey. And you should already know who them two people are. Exactly. Tanisha in New York. Neither one of them ran over to Amorosa, honey. I don't even know where Tanisha was, child. And New York was in her room doing her thing because Corinne goes upstairs and she's crying and New York is like, what's, what's going on? 
on. She was like, I just walked past my roommate. I'm like, girl, you crying already? And so she, Corinne tells her how Omarosa was mean to her and told her to Google her. And New York was just like, what? Oh, okay. So New York is sharing a room with Amphisa. And when Omarosa walks in, Omarosa, you know, says to Amphisa, you know, do you know who this is? And so she runs down New York's resume and New York's like, girl, stop. And she's like, but what I do want to talk to you about, I forgot Corinne is sharing a room with uh, New York too. She's like, what I do want to talk to you about though is Corinne. Baby, Omarosa said, who's that? <laughs> You know who that girl is. You just paid her dust downstairs. You know who she is. <laughs> and New York said, she's my roommate. And I'm also said, y'all bonded already? What did I do? Corinne. Who is that? That's my roommate. Okay, but you bonded with her? <laughs> Terrible. And so New York was like, look, she came upstairs crying. She, she was crying. And I'm also said, girl, you know the rules in reality TV. The first one to cry is the first one to fry. Like, girl, you got to get it together. And so... <laughs> Already Corinne and got on Omarosa's bad side. That was part of Omarosa's whole thing because she felt like this is a play and she needs to figure out who she can trust, who she can't trust. She got to kind of um, make her position known in the house. And it's crazy because when Anfisa went up to her and she was like, hi, I'm Anfisa, what's your name? Oh my God, I'm Omarosa, how are you? Girl. <laughs> Omarosa showed out in this episode and I messed it up so Omarosa and Anfisa and Jax are all sharing a room because Omarosa was annoyed that she had to share a room with Jax and Corinne and New York are roommates it's a lot okay I forgot so after everybody kind of gets settled has a little mixer talks a little bit they all go outside and they meet Joe McHale who will be hosting the show now Joe McHale is hilarious he was on community he used to have a show like a night it wasn't like a late night show it was like a funny clips type of show on E I think I can't remember. I don't know he was in the community though, and he was funny. But he is the host, and he's like already cracking jokes and all the things. And so each week, the contestants will compete in what they call the battle royale. And at the end of each battle royale, there will only be one winner who will be super villain of the week. And when that person wins super villain of the week, they are saved from elimination for that week, and they get to put up three people for elimination. Chat. And after them three people are put up, the other members of the house get to vote out whoever they think needs to go home. So the first challenge is called Balls Out. <laughs> A mess. And so the object of the game is they have like these huge inflatable balls and each ball has a picture of each contestant. And so the object of the game is to get every ball out of this little square except for one. And whoever's ball is left is the super villain of the week. And so everybody's trying to figure out what's happening. They get two minutes to strategize. So that means they want to team up with other people to, to have a plan, whatever that looks like. And they kind of tried to do that, New York, Corinne, and Bobby. But then when they got into the little square, child, it was just a uh, mayhem and madness, honey. Bobby lights running all over the place, trying to push everybody's stuff out. He like, I need to show people that I'm here to play, that, <laughs> that I am not playing no games, that y'all can trust me, I got y'all back. Amarosa just got her ball. <laughs> she refuses to move. She like, that's her strategy. She's not gonna move nowhere. Um, child Jax is just going wild. He think he on MTV to challenge, honey. He just hitting people too hard. It's just mayhem and madness and it just don't make no damn sense. <laughs> so after all the craziness, honey, it's down to Johnny Bananas and Amarosa. And so Amarosa is like, Johnny, just give up and you are safe this week. And that was it. Like Johnny didn't even try. Nobody tried to talk him out of it. He was just like, okay. <laughs> So they push this ball out the square, baby, and I'm a roasting and win Super Villain of the Week. I said, now, that's how you do it. That's that's how you do it. You just go in and say, child, I'm not, 
I'm not doing this. I'm not. So y'all go ahead, run around like crazy people. I'm going to sit over here in this corner and then I'm just going to tell you to let me win. <laughs> Rosa is crazy, honey, but I see you, girl. After it's all said and done, I predict that Jax is probably going to end up going home because he came in hot in the challenge, honey. And he made an observation. He was like, I feel like in all these challenges, I'm going to be killing it because I am probably the most physically fit here besides Johnny Bananas. Like, he's like, look at everybody else and they paying everybody. And I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he might could have a point. So I feel like the challenges won't necessarily be all just physical. I think there'll be a lot of puzzles involved and strategy and things like that. Because if we're going off a of sheer muscle athleticism, baby, just give Jax the money now. Just give him the money now because... You got Johnny Fairplay, who about my age or older, you know what I'm saying, in his 40, damn near probably 50. You got New York, Tanisha, honey. They ain't trying to break no nails, get sweaty. Amorosa, honey, she ain't doing nothing. By the way, Amorosa came on here looking thicker than a snicker. I said, girl, I see what your grown woman weight. I mean, she looks good, honey, killing it. But she ain't gonna be doing no strenuous activities and then you got barbie one and barbie two and anfisa and corinne honey they ain't gonna do nothing child and then shake and child please <laughs> this cast is crazy and bobby lights honey like yeah Jax would just take it so definitely it's gonna be a cornucopia of activities in these challenges and would have to be to make it fair since amorosa won super villain of the week she is able to pick two other contestants or two other villains to go on a pamper spa day um to really kind of chop it up with to see where their head is at and so she picks tanisha and bobby and she says she's picking them because they're the most chatty Kathy's of the bunch like they gossip and they be telling everybody business <laughs> and so Bobby honey he's excited um he's just like I cannot wait that means I'm probably not gonna be on a chopping block and before he goes he let Corinne know you know I'm also don't like you <laughs> and so Corinne is like oh my god oh, oh my god and she goes on this whole rant on a little confessional and she's like I guess she's just jealous of me and I can see why and I don't she doesn't even know who she's effing with bachelor nation is gonna hate her I she doesn't know who I am so if you're jealous and if you're worried about competition bring it on bitch Ugh, I'm so annoyed girl stop it if you're a villain on the show I'm pretty sure you're not that damn popular with fans of The Bachelor. Let's be for real. Like, Bachelor Nation probably don't give a damn about you. And I'm probably sure that's why the producers allowed that dumbass footage to be on the show. Because they like, girl, Bachelor Nation ain't checking for you. How long ago was your season? No, really. How long ago was it? Because I don't... <laughs> I don't know you. Well, at the little pamper day, Bobby Lights and Tanisha, they really didn't give Amorosa a whole lot. Like, Amorosa was trying to figure out, you know, who do you think should go home, all this different stuff. And neither of them were really given, like, a straight answer. But they both kind of felt like Jax was doing the most during the competition. He might be the biggest physical threat um, of the show. Um, and that's about it. For the most part, they really didn't give her a whole lot of feedback. And even that morning when they all woke up for breakfast, um, Amorosa immediately like went down to the kitchen and asked Shake, who do you think should go home? And Shake was like, damn, can I have my coffee first? I just woke up. <laughs> give it a break, honey. And then so she asked him again and he was like, I don't know. I just need some time to think about it. And Amorosa was like, well, baby, don't think too long because it might be you. <laughs> love this show i am going to love this show honey and so while amorosa bobby and tanisha are at the um spa the other contestants are at the house and just kind of talking and Jax is talking about how he's not cut out for like an elimination type show because he just doesn't really know what to do all the other shows that he's been on have been like actual shows so like he doesn't boy shut up 
boy, just stop. And then Johnny Bananas talking about, you know, well, I'm happy I didn't win because I would hate to be in a situation where I leave the house and everybody's talking about me. Shut up. You wish you had one. <laughs> Johnny Bananas, you don't want power. You've been on 29,000 seasons of the challenge. We know you. We know how you roll. We know you like power. We know you like to be the one calling the shots. So don't try to fool these people and make them think that you don't care about being super villain on the week because you do. And you're going to show enough, show your ass and get down and dirty the rest of the episode so you can win each week. We know you. Don't even try it. Tiffany and Corinne are talking. And she's and Corinne is talking about how Bobby told her that Omarosa don't like her. And Tiffany is like, look, you are good. I promise you that. As long as you and my roommate, I got your back. And you ain't got to worry about nothing. If you go home, I'm going home. Tiffany, you going to go home and sacrifice 20 no, $200,000 for this girl you don't know? Girl, we ain't just met you. Like, all these people... Child, stop playing. The end of the night comes, and so they all go into like this little secret room to have um, the first stage of elimination. And so Amarosa, <laughs> Amarosa get on my nerves. So they have like this, this um, what's it called, child? A throne. They have a throne in the middle of the stage. So Amarosa walks in, got her hair wrap on, got a little tight little little maxi dress, and so she strolls up. <laughs> <laughs> and they say, Amarosa, take your seat on the throne. So she stands there, not sitting down yet. She's just standing there. And the girl, they don't sit down. <laughs> and she finally sits down. And so she obviously she puts up Corinne because she don't like her so she puts her up for elimination Corinne is pissed of course and then she puts Shake up for elimination and Shake is like well damn what did I do you didn't do anything and that's the problem she gave you the opportunity to either be on her team or not and I'm also made it very clear either you with me or you against me you ain't, ain't no in between you can't be straddling the fence over here so you are for elimination brother and so I'm Arosa, now mind you she didn't already made a pact with Johnny Bananas that she's not gonna put him up for elimination. So they're like, well, who's the last person you're gonna put up for, for elimination? And so Amarosa said, the next person that should be put up for elimination is someone who has been competing for a very long time. They've been on a very competitive show for years. They've won over 20 some odd challenges and they are our bis biggest physical threat here. And that is Bananas. And so Johnny Bananas is like, Wow, she really stabbed me in the back. And Amarosa was like, but that's not who I'm putting up. And <laughs> Johnny Bananas was like, Amarosa, I just shit my pants. <laughs> and so Amarosa, as I expected, put Jax up for elimination. So our three villains that are possibly going home next week are Shake, Corinne, and Jax. And so we're left on the cliffhanger. So we don't know who is going home. Y'all let me know in the comments below who you think is going to get eliminated. I have a feeling that it's no one's going to be eliminated just based on the trailer. But if someone does get eliminated, I think it'll be Jax because he is at least based on what they know about the challenges. It's probably the biggest physical threat of the show. So I think Jax will probably go home. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts in the comments below. Have, are you watching the show? It comes on E on Thursdays at 10 o'clock. Hashtag not sponsored. This is not an ad. I'm just telling you where you can watch it. <laughs> and episode one, if you don't have E, honey, if you're like me and you don't have cable, okay, I'm not paying for that shit. Uh, episode one is on E Network's YouTube channel for the free 99. So you can scurry on over there and watch it like I did. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Who you think is going to get eliminated? How are you feeling about this show? Who is your favorite all-time reality show villain? Tiffany is my girl. I love Tiffany. Pollard, New York. Um, now I didn't used to, but I do now. And I love me some Tanisha. So y'all let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, y'all like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'ma see y'all next week for episode two of House of Villains. Hey, sister girl on films, you don't wanna miss a thing. Better stay tuned in. Uh, so lay back, get into the vibe, in the mood. Real reviews from a sister's point of view.